Hello, this is Artsy Wisdom. My name is Diane. I'm in Arizona. I'm also sitting on the floor. I know that seems very odd, but I enjoy getting myself close to the earth because it feels really good and I get more information. So disregard the trash can. I don't know if some of you know me from before. There's some of my artwork and I'm going to change it up next time. But for today, I'm sitting down on my little buckwheat pillow. And I meditated on the situation, <sighs> politics, and how um, this fear is rampant. And like I, I certainly feel that. And I, as soon as I got to Arizona, there are signs everywhere. Every other commercial is either for Harris or Trump or many of the, you know, seats. Uh, in the state and also Carrie Lake versus Ruben Gallegos. There you go. And it's just uh, anxiety provoking, scary. And I, and I go, if I know I'm not the only one and I'm, and I see all the positive things happening and I do. So for me to get triggered by it, I know can be, um, so I know other people are really concerned too. So I thought I would dig deep. And my big thought was recently, and by the way, I just got here yesterday, so I'm still a little tired. Oh yes, but I did find some white wine and I throw berries in there and um, it makes, a, makes me happy to put fruit in my wine. I don't know why, but it does. So cheers to you guys. Um, I wanted to look at how Elon Musk's million dollar a day buying voters for Trump, what is his goal or what's going on in his head? I've gone into Elon Musk's head before and I just meditated on him just briefly a little bit ago and it was slightly different. So I'm gonna explain that to you. I also wanted to share, I wanted to look in the concept of democracy, the United States in general. I also had some images and visions about food. If you haven't been here before, I tend to, seems to be that's my go-to food, you know, visions of different items that we eat. And then, and I also have notes because, just because. And th I'm going to try and make this short because, you know, we just got back and there's things to do. But I also wanted to just check in and see what the situation was between Trump and Harris because they say it's tied, it's a dead heat. I also heard polls are being skewed by these Republican groups that are kind of nefarious groups that are kind of making up polls and they're kind of skewing how um, the polls are going and that the Republicans tend to vote on mass they like to be part of the party and if they're losing they may not vote but if they feel like they're going to win they're going to vote so that's i i don't know if that's happening i'm going to look into that i am going to pull some cards i already did I, oh sorry i got my um i did this last time i have my i got urban crow oracle cards that's my new crow deck birds and i pulled well, where'd it go resistance lost the card. I had pulled one for Elon Musk. So I hope you guys are doing well. We're going to get through this. Just as a disclaimer, all is going to be well. Let's get started. So quickly, I also watched a video on uh, the Colorado ballots and some were stolen and somebody emailed or mailed them in fraudulently, signed them, voted for they didn't say who they voted for. I couldn't tell who it was, but the signatures were off. So they caught that in the election process and they were able to find a dozen that were, they got stolen somehow and they were signed by somebody else who wasn't the voter because the voter never voted. And all these people were contacted and said, no, we were never voted. I never got my ballot. So somehow, some way, these people or this person or situation because a lot of them were coming from like one certain area. So they think it was somewhere local that somebody just took them and mailed them in, which is very frustrating. 
because again, people don't trust the process. There was a lot of um, backstops, guardrails for the election process, and we don't need any more mistrust and shenanigans, nefarious, whatever, on either side, anywhere. So I hope that won't change too many minds. But I did watch an astrologer who I remember from a few years ago, and I looked at her expectation and the energies. And some people, she's not very political, but some people seem to find worst case scenarios. Um, and some of it might be accurate in the regard to energies, but I find after the fact, did that happen? Partially or somewhat. And I'm using a generalization. I'm just saying sometimes people or astrologers or psychics even or whoever says this is going to happen. The world is going to end and yada, yada, yada. Technically, they are not wrong when it comes to astrological aspects and different things. And I am a minor astrologer. I'm not anybody that is... Um, I've been doing it for 30 some years, but can't say that I'm really super professional. It's my kind of like my minor instead of, you know, not my major in school. So <clears throat> I find that's also brings out this fear and this anxiety. Now, in general, this person was correct. The energies are more shift. We're going through that big messy shift. and. We're all choosing to be here right now. Our soul contract gave us this option, or we took this option to be here. And we're learning and evolving. And we're all ascending, depending on your soul's path. And we're here to help or hinder or feed or starve or whatever it is, the situation. I choose faith. And I believe in humanity ultimately is good for the most part. The human ego perverts situations because power and greed, you know, that's how that goes. So I didn't want to get on a long soapbox, long. I didn't want to get on a soapbox about that, but I want everybody to know that we're going to be okay. It's not the end of times there will be some struggles challenges um uranus is going to go also into gemini next year i think it's tiptoeing back and forth from taurus to gemini similar to the place it was when our country was started it's not there yet but it will be so uh, uranus and gemini is also about finding freedom to speak the truth and um, a lot of communication and social shifts, okay? And your and the daily life that you're in. And I believe, and I think the more we all believe, we're gonna get through this, there's gonna be shifts that we didn't expect. And the more we expect bad, the more we'll get bad. Only because that's your viewpoint. In hypnotherapy, when you believe something to be true, we know that's what's true for you. So if you say to somebody, I'll never quit smoking, and you talk to your hypnotherapist and they say, well, why don't you? Because I've tried and I can't. Well, you've decided. That's it. So if you believe everything is going to hell in a handbasket, you'll find all the material around you to make that belief valid. So if you believe that people are good, we're going to get through this, and we have the power and choice you live in that state and you will continue to have the power and choice. You'll see it. You, you'll begin to see it around you and you live in that place. It's hard getting bombarded. All the energies are coming at us, but all right, I digress. Let's get started. We've, thank you so much for all my new subscribers. Uh, my last video, even when I was in Canada before we came down to Arizona, you guys liked it. So I, I'm not sure how it was different or whatever, but thank you. I love that you guys are coming by and um, joining. All right. So before I jump on to anything else, this is the card I pulled for 
Elon Musk. I wanted to know, I went into his energy. What is his purpose? Why is he being the pseudo vice president person besides possibly because he needs to get some power behind him because tons of lawsuits against him and he needs somebody in the white house that's sympathetic or somebody in the court system or somebody in the justice department and he knows if he gets trump in there he'll he has his buddy in there and he will not have to he will get some um lessening or they will dismiss cases and not even charge him with certain things or his company, you know, the business, you know, they'll loosen all the regulations so he can get through it and make more money. So this card, it's called resistance. I don't even know what the, these cards um, have different meanings, but all I could see was, and I'm going to show you this, you notice this bird, this crow, he is flying against the wind. He is trying and this wind he's going opposite right so it's like when you're driving you know and you you're fighting the the wind and you get like half the gas mileage out of it because your car can't fight the wind or even when you're walking uphill it's kind of the same thing i notice his feathers are coming out he's losing maybe he's losing his hair i'm looking at this as elon musk so when i meditated on mr musk in the past i've seen him as too brained like this is mostly um, computer creativity, but in a math way, very organized, autistic kind of non-emotional. And then there's a small part that's emotional, but they're not connected. Um, he's focused and obsessed about creating whatever he wants. And he usually does. But in this situation, I got into his energy and it was really different. It was, not anything I've saw before. It was it was like all over here was red, rage, um, like fire, and he. It was like determination, the Mars energy, you know, the soldiers and the passion and the aggression and somebody who wants to fight. And I saw it more this way. And red, it could be symbolic for the Republican Party, but it was more like kind of looked hellish to be honest, it looked like fire inside, you know, what you imagine hell to be, which by the way, there's no hell, just FYI. This is just, I imagine he's in this state of like fight and I'm gonna just destroy and um, take no prisoners kind of vibe. So I did see the sea of these men because I picture mostly men that he's, um able to connect with that he wants to come and vote if you get you know they apply or put their name in a lottery and they win a million dollars i did see a sea of them i did see he's up here and he's looking down and there are many so i do feel like he's affecting some this is true but i look to see if it was deeply layered and i don't see any depth to it it does feel like there's some like you let out a gym that's kind of like the feeling i get you know maybe thousand people or whatever or maybe ten thousand but i see trump at the front of this mass right and trump is at the front and elon is pushing all these people towards trump like let's go and he's kind of like you know pushing 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 and trump is like falling back and these people can't go past trump because he's supposedly the leader and i don't see them enough and trump isn't doing something he's i know his um brain isn't working he's getting very tired and he isn't able to create any new uh i know he's coming out with all these derogatory things and he's saying all these negative things that some people are triggered by and like him to say and want him to be a thug. They do. They want him to be a thug. But it's like he's receding. There, he's Elon Musk is trying to push all these guys and get them going, get them going, but he's not getting there. So he falls back. So I don't think it will achieve what Musk wants it to achieve. Um, He's throwing all that money at it, but I don't think it's going to matter ultimately um, for 
um, Trump to win in the greater extent of it. So what I do see is um, Musk being very frustrated because he gets frustrated when he doesn't get his way. He loves to have his way because he is, you know, and this has grown over the years, but he needs to have his way. So he can, he's obsessed about what he does. And, you know, he's good at creating stuff and new ideas and technologies and stuff. Anyway, so when it comes to um, generally, will that change things? Well, Musk, I don't think so. Now, when I look into Trump's energy for now, I think it's only 11 days to the election, maybe. And I see him, like I've said before, he's failing. He's, he will um, fade. I see him after the election. There's, I see him sitting in court, and he's got his lips all twisted, like, and angry. There will be sentencing for those felony counts that he was found guilty. Uh, his court, back, dark chocolate backstop that he is, follow the law. And he will get sentenced, something that Trump will not like. It won't just be a fine. It'll be something serious. In the past, I saw him, you know, like house arrest or something like that. But either way. Trump is going to be very uh, angry and wild. I see him, I saw him leaving right around the same time as the election. So either it was right before or right there, right around that time. And I think he, I almost feel like, will he stick around and wait for the final counts because they're going to court cases galore to, see if the count is accurate. He, it's almost like I've seen him like go on this plane carpet and go to another country, but he's over here to the side, like he's on deck and he's ready to leave. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in the background of this campaign, trying to keep him from getting too out of hand or saying something really stupid. That woman, an old model that knew Jeffrey Epstein briefly or dated him, says he groped her. Trump did. And she's just finally coming out with that. I don't think it'll matter to many people that already believe in him. It might change a few people's minds, but they think it's just politics and propaganda. Um, but I do feel as if Trump, his energy is so receding and I can't see him winning. I just can't. I saw that sea, that heaving sea of voters like pouring over the ledge in that valley of, uh, of the United States and global. And I don't see them for him. I, I feel like Elon Musk and the red and that crazy, that fire is over here and Donald Trump is high and floating away. I still see that. So even though I know people are saying the polls are tied, I don't. Let's see. Now, are there any Russian bots or any false polls that are being in, implemented? Actually, there are some, but not as many. There's a few, but not as many as you would think. So why are the polls so close? So why are the polls showing it different. People don't want to be seen. They don't want to say out loud. Um, there is still the fear of being attacked or found out, even though I'm sure the pollsters don't, you know, say it's confidential. Um, I think that's part of it. I feel like they're using, I know everything is newfangled and they've got all these new digital models and It's just different groups that they're not talking to. Either they're being, they're avoiding. I'm going to pull a card on that to help me source out why. Why are the polls off? 
teamwork. Interesting. You guys know this when there's uh, even sparrows will chase off a big bird if it's getting near the nest. So they all work together and they fly and attack that big bird who is coming to attack their nest or their group. So I feel like as I look at this, Republicans are working hard to create this facade or they're fighting really hard to not let people in to fight off these outside um, critics so they only can show you what they want you to show so they're keeping very on the down low in the dark so i think part of it was just because we haven't been able to see it so and there's also a concerted effort by republicans not to um, show the real polls or show real information. I think they're manipulating. I didn't think so. I'd only saw a little bit, but there is something that's happening and maybe it's, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, what, what is that? It's, um, somebody had said it's from Russia or China, Iran, or all these places that are helping. Oh yeah. I totally see Russia helping. All of a sudden I saw that very easily yes russia is actually helping uh make these uh false scenarios or poll not poll poll but something in that information or the data yeah so go figure uh all right and i wanted to before i finish up with that i looked into um how Kamala Harris is doing. Now, I did post on my community page. I was very disappointed in her responses to many of the questions at the town hall. And it reminded me of when I didn't think she was very authentic years ago before she became the vice president. And I'm just being truthful. And I think I'm not alone. And I wanted her to be more real and more just casual and just talk to people in a real way, I felt like she was scripted. I did, and I was, I was like, oh, come on, be yourself and just talk to people in a way that they hear you and understand. You don't, I mean, say what you're gonna do in the policy, but it's just these repeated statements of like, you know, if, if you wanna be a leader, you don't crush people or push them down, you lift them up, of course, but why are my food prices higher? How will you help food prices? And she has, she did go around it, but I, I'm still voting for her because he's wants to crush the constitution and, and uh, just really decide wants to, you know, do everything in his own power without any three branches. I can imagine he would take off two of the three branches and make the president, the executive branch or number one, and they would be the two under branches or something. I can imagine that. But so no matter, I'm voting for her. Don't get me wrong, but I was disappointed about that. All right. Now, one last thing. I wanted to look into her, the demo, Democrat, I can make words, democracy in general. I, I got into the energy of the United States, how it is. So I'm from a like northern, just above United States looking down. Um, and I see large areas, heavier, darker, lighter. But I wanted to see if there was going to be any big blow ups or violence or things like harsh things that were going to be happening or um, not just after the election, but right now. What is the situation right now? I think people are holding their breath. I feel like they're waiting, obviously, the election, but there's also oh, I want to say too much information coming at us and it's overwhelming. And I think we should just pick a lane. You know, if you find a good source and a reputable source of information that isn't too dramatic or flagrantly fear mongering. You just get the news and then jump off. I think trying to, once you trust that, I think trying to see it from all these different things, it's like, but they said this and they said that, and I think this, 
trust your own judgment, trust what you feel, really and truly. Those of you who, my viewers who have commented, lovely comments and uh, about not watching the news and different things, I think that's the wisest. I think that's really wise to do. Okay, so when I saw also the United States, I saw the White House and I saw the White House and the country as I wanted to see if it would fall apart, if things would break into, you know, a million pieces or how this is going to go. So I immediately saw the White House after looking at the country and, and I saw it as a giant dessert towering, not like a wedding cake, but if you took the White House and you made a cake out of it, but not exactly. And it was a chiffon sponge, so light and airy, but there was lovely, um, like vanilla mousse in between. So very light white sponge and vanilla mousse in the thinnest, thinnest layer of a cherry, kind of a gelée or a jelly, but very thin and reminiscent of George Washington and his cherry tree. I, I thought it's, tart and strong uh, and I felt like that is moving that is flowing through I know he's one of our you know our main forefather but I feel like that truth and honesty I didn't cut down the tree or I did cut down the, that is permeated through that entire cake of democracy and I was also reminded of a whipped cream um i'm well not reminded i saw a nice whipped cream frosting but the cream was from cows that have roamed ranches and they've lived and died on this earth and they've eaten the grass the united states energy is in the dirt all of our energy is in the dirt and in the before I've seen other countries where I, I recognize the energy, sometimes not good from other countries in the dirt that has to be healed. This situation, I'm saying the cows are eating the grass. They are here generationally. We're here generationally. That earth it has absorbed our institutions, our democracy, our energy, positive and negative, obviously, but it is all that we are and the greatness that Americans can be. And not just about the cows, but the, the dirt in our, in our land. It's the land. And I feel like democracy is not going anywhere that quickly. It is not because it is in the rooted in the land. And I think we as humans think we're so powerful that we can shift that quickly or that, um, um, what's the word, can't think of, um, make massive changes on a world stage. Okay, how can I explain this? I know that can happen. I know people make changes. But I took many years for our democratic system to become real, and it has been real. And for the last several hundred years, three or two and a half or whatever it is, people have built their lives here and there is so much invested. And I know that sounds cliche, but this house, our house, I did a mural one and you know, they're in football teams or base or whatever sports teams and not in our house. That's the feeling I get. It's like not in our house, this isn't happening. And I feel like the people are we know this it's it's in us it's in the ground it's in the food we eat it's in the cream and the cows and all that and even if you're vegan and you don't it's just in that dirt in our experience here so i saw that beautiful cake and the cream and there's some base that's very not brownie but not nuts but something dense like a, not a crust like graham cracker but something impenetrable that's hard and sturdy that you cannot change. So I just wanted to share that vision and I thought it was really positive. 
it's big and it's not soft because you think cream and bread or chiffon cake and mousse, but it's not going anywhere. It is very strong. So let's just move forward. Stay positive, people. We're going to get through this. And um, have any more questions? I know I haven't been because I've been so busy. We've been so traveling. I'm so tired. So from now on, I'll start looking more and answering your questions. And if you guys have any more thoughts, comments, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And I love that you guys keep coming back. Until next time, take care.